Welcome to Motion and Product. My name is Michael, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at an age old user flow. That's the sign up and login flow. But we're going to take a little twist on that because we're going to take that flow that's traditionally two parts the sign up and the login and combine them into one flow which takes the guesswork for the user. Here's a website that has a sign in flow with social login and an example of when to use magic links correctly. Today, we're going to look at how we might implement this sign up flow in Bubble with magic links. Magic links are those uh, email links that um, websites send to you to allow you to log in without needing a password. If they forgot their password, then there'll be two options here. Log in with a magic link or reset the password. This is where using the magic link is useful because it will send a temporary link to the user through their email to allow access to that. Some people don't like this flow when apps only have this uh, way of logging in because password managers aren't able to pick up the fact that there's, there's a password input when you split up pages like this, but these days it's getting much better. The core of this experience is to check if a user exists or not using their email. And to do that, I thought I would add a conditional check to see if the user can be found in the database when searched by email. This worked when I was the user, but when I was testing this when I was logged out, it didn't work. And the reason for this is that Bubble has default privacy settings that prevents emails from being searchable by other users. I had to uncheck these settings and I was able to get the flow going. So what do you think about this? Do you think that unchecking this privacy setting to allow this flow to work is a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. And please give this video a like if you got any value out of it. And if you want to check out the flow for yourself, you can check out the link to the demo in the description below, or you can stick around to watch another video that will help you on your no-code journey.